Mountain hares are Britain's only true Arctic alpine mammal. They were here before any other species of hare or rabbit. Unlike their lowland cousins, brown hares, mountain hares are uniquely adapted to harsh winters. As the days shorten and the cold sets in, they turn brilliant white. They're also known as snow hares and were once thought to change colour by eating snow. We now know that light and temperature are the cues for them to produce fur with less pigment. With huge snowshoe feet and small ears that conserve heat, mountain hares are true snow bunnies. My love of mountains began during my early childhood, which I spent in Aberdeen, Scotland. My family would go on holiday to the Cairngorm Mountains every summer. I saw snow bunting, and I saw ptarmigan, snow specialists at home in the cold. The Cairngorms are the closest the highlands come to the high Arctic. This mountain massif makes its own weather. It's usually two degrees cooler here than everywhere else. Snow lies year round in some of the high corries. For now, it seems that mountain hares are safe here. The Cairngorms are a paradise for nature lovers. Hikers are drawn to hills such as the Angel's Peak and Devil's Point, mountains rounded by scouring ice and cliffs shattered by the cold. Climbers throng to Korya and Schnecke, the Corrie of the Snow, to tackle winter routes such as Fingers Ridge and Aladdin's Mirror. There are pistes for snowboarders and slopes for ski tourers who share this landscape with the local wildlife. I was determined to see a snow hare in its element. Every day I get up before dawn, haul my heavy winter boots on and trudge up through the snow and ice to look for prints. Their tracks were everywhere, around the car park, in the mountain garden, on the road that leads to the ski runs. 
Their forms, or shelters, and scraped snow where they dug up heather shoots to eat, were visible not far from the ski centre. After hours of searching, I finally spotted one that bounded uphill and vanished into the snow. I managed to creep closer to another, hunkered down, nearly invisible, in its pale grey camouflage. It was one of the most beautiful wild animals I'd ever seen. It was like seeing a scene from the Ice Age. But the climate is changing, the snow sets in later, the thaw arrives earlier. Less snow means unpredictable conditions for people who enjoy outdoor sports. Less snow means less cover for snow hares. For a predator like a golden eagle or a raven, a mountain hare makes a much needed meal. I was walking up a beautiful Cairngorm Valley where I'd once seen 17 hares. And I managed to catch a fleeting glimpse of just two. I stumbled upon a sad sight. And one of them is, is this one here, and that's a sorry sight, really. It's such a beautiful creature. You can see the black tips of the ears. Um, you can see the darker fur around the eye. Um, and a raven has been pecking at the carcass. And this gives me a sense of the challenges these animals face. So there's a, a lot of snow cover around, but this is late March. This is the most heavy snow that we've had all winter. It's been unpredictable. And this gives us a sense of just how tough it is for these creatures when the conditions are unreliable. They are also facing challenges this year in the peaks because of a parasite. And it makes me wonder if this one has been weakened by disease, but there have been so many hair prints around uh, today. It just shows you that camouflage isn't perfect and something has managed to get this one. But I realised that the eagles and ravens must have chicks to feed. Predatory birds, as hare hunting specialists, depend on mountain hares for their survival too, which makes me worry about how few hares I saw. What we're experiencing is, of course, a result of climate change. It's a bit of a depressing thought, actually losing our winter snows. It is going to have an impact on everything. And that's something that I don't really know the answer to that. The think tank Climate Exchange predicts that by 2080, there will be some years with very little or no snow in the Cairngorms. The Peak District National Park Association predicts that mountain hares are highly vulnerable to climate change, but only moderately able to adapt. They may benefit from warmer summers, but wetter winters are bad news for them. They are our indicator species, and the climate change forecast 
shows that their range is predicted to decrease by 80% over the next 30 years because there will be much less snow and so they won't be able to compete and thrive in a snowy environment. And maybe in 30 years time, our children will come up here, there'll be no mountain hares to see anymore. And wouldn't that be a great shame? Is there anything ordinary people can do to help out mountain hares? So it's for all of us to reduce our fossil fuel consumption. Each individual person's effort is going to help that. And it's really our moral obligation to do that, to protect the mountain hare. Their ghostly white coats are a relic of a vanishing climate. Can snow hares survive with less snow? Will they adapt to become brown as the heather instead of snowy white in winter? I always want our mountains to provide homes for mountain hares. They are part of the spirit of our hills. Their winteriness. Their wildness. <laughs>